We're gonna talk about something real quick, guys. I wanna talk about science. I wanna talk about science. Okay. Science is the process of finding truth, right? The problem is, is our science that we have today is flawed. Because just like Nikola Tesla quoted, today's scientists wander off in equations, mathematics, none of which is based in reality, guys. And the greatest example I like to give for this is Johnny has three apples, right? Johnny loses one apple, how many apples does he have? Right? The scientists solve the equation. Oh, Johnny has one apple. Johnny loses two apples, he has one. Johnny loses one apple, he has two. Because he started with three. Great, yeah, it all makes sense. But the fundamental part of the question that you have not addressed, that these scientists have not addressed, is who the fuck is Johnny? And are his apples even real? Or is this entire thing that we are solving a made-up question? <laughs> a theoretical, hypothetical analysis. Of course the numbers add up. If it was like that, that's how it would be. The Masons have been so intricate in weaving this shit into our education system. Don't forget Rockefeller said, I want a nation of workers, not thinkers. Right? They want us to shut up, consume, work, and die. And that's it. We want not, we don't have our best interest at hand. Guys, these people don't work. They run everything. If, if y'all have not figured out that the way this world works is a scam, then that's on y'all. But it is a scam. Sitting here, all these movies promote education. Guys, education is bullshit. I got a master's degree. It doesn't matter. No one cares. They're not going to give you a shot because you have a master's degree. They don't care. And most of the jobs you'll be able to get, you'll be overqualified for, but it won't matter because the qualifications don't matter. Everywhere you go wants three years of experience. So how the fuck are you supposed to get a job? You're not. You have to remember, guys, everything has shifted from homesteading, raising food, livestock, right, to move everyone into the conjuncted cities, right, and make everybody work, jobs, man posts, they are not, I repeat, we are not living the way we started this world living, I mean, your founding fathers, they literally built their fence around thousands of acres, and was like, this is mine, where is their work for it, where is that? Oh, times were different back then. What you histor all these people love to try to, you know, settle. They, they love to try to reason. They love to try to tell you why things happen. It's like people try to tell me what the people meant in the Bible, right? When Job thirty-eight fourteen says the earth takes shape like clay pressed under a seal, my parents, uh, biblical scholars, these people who don't realize that they don't know the truth they sit there and they tell you what the scriptures mean like they got some magical ability to read the verse and translate it to you even though in plain English it says the earth takes shape like clay pressed under a seal what he means is that's what they do what they mean is even though it's, they're just describing it the best way that they could. How do you know? How do you know? Who are you to tell me what the scriptures mean and that I've got it backwards? No, I'm taking it quite literal. You're not supposed to take it literally. It's metaphorical. It's allegorical. Whatever, whatever type of cool word you can come up with, guys. Bullshit. You don't know that. And you can't tell me that. Because you don't know and you don't have proof that the people writing this story, this Bible, you don't have proof of what... There's no footnotes on, hey guys, when we say it's flat, we're just talking about your perspective from where you are on the ground. No, that does, there's no footnotes that say that, okay? 
So the people telling you what the verse means, don't believe them. They don't know. They think they know. Just like a lot of people think they're Christian, right? They, lo they make money their God. They go to church on Sunday, which is a pagan day, right? They, you know, if you guys can't see it, what's wrong with you? Right? Evil in high places. And, you know, I, there's a lot of uh, glass half full guys and, and glass half empty people. And I'm constantly linked as a person who looks at the Bible too much as black and white. But it is black and white, guys. It's literally black ink on white paper. Okay? Male, female. Black, white. It's either true or false. There's no third medium, guys. Alright? There's no tranny section. I'm trying to tell you guys, like, the whole agenda of the world is against our Father. Because principalities is over all this stuff. Right? The devil is running everything here. That's why everything's so bad. The world's not that bad. Oh, yeah? Are you driving Mercedes? Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, the people who have it don't see it. That's why the verse that says it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter heaven. Because the rich people don't use their eyes. They don't use their ears. Because their problems are solved. Right? They've got it. If they've got it, they are, you ever seen the, those dogs that prance around and they're happy, their tails wagging, and they jump from left to right to left to right to left to right? That's them. How are they going to see this world, right? How are they going to see if they got their eyes closed? How are they going to hear the truth if they won't listen? Right? The idea that your worldview has been falsified is not one especially that people who are making it in society are willing to accept. Remember, if you're making it, the world's your God. Right? If you're making it in these highly conjuncted, crammed cities, like think about it guys, if the Bill Gates and all, all these people are buying up the land, there's no more land. Because, I mean, there's plenty of land. I'm just saying, the corporations, Bill Gates, all these people are buying it. And look at Bill Gates. He's a freak got man titties. And he's trying to tell people that they need to be plant-based this and alternative meat. Like, guys, what? Look at this guy. He's in no position to tell us how to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Look at him. He's got man titties. He just tried to vaccinate the whole world for something that was 99.9% .9 success rate. Stupid. God, shut your business down. Close your shit. Now everyone's supposed to just forget about it and, and cut our losses and be happy. No, guys. You're going to just forget? You're going to forget that gas was $1.60 four years ago? So for the last you know, year or two, when it goes down to three fifty, dollars everyone's like, hey, times are going good. Gas is down. What? They just raised it like freaking $3.00. Drop it one dollar, and you think you got a deal? You can't hold these people accountable. That's the illusion. We, the people, is the illusion. We, the slaves, is more like it. If you disagree, right? This whole dust your feet off and pick yourself up and pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. That's bullshit, guys. You can't make it like that. If you have nothing, you're not pulling yourself up. That's why we have homeless people. We don't have homeless programs, but we give $60 billion a year to NASA, an organization whose name means to deceive in the language of Hebrew. No matter how many Google sites will say, no, it doesn't mean that. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, I had a fact checker. Right? What is a fact checker? Right? More like a lie keeper. Okay? Because these are independent journalists, right? Who are promoted through Facebook for some reason. I don't know how it works. But 
what's going on is I'll post a video saying Job 3814. The earth takes shape like clay pressed under a seal. And a fact checker will tag my article that I put up, or tag my post that I put up, and will tag a bullshit article to it, and it'll have a message at the top saying, this is false information. Yeah, who's your daddy? Satan? If the police broke into your house and were trying to kill you, would you call the police? Remember, there's, there's a great divide, guys, night and day, true and false, yes or no, black or white. There is no middle ground. You're either going to heaven or you're going to hell. There's no in-between. It's heaven or hell. There's no other place for us. And hell was never meant for humans to go there. If you do go there, you go there on your own free choosing. Don't you get that? You choose to go there by believing in dumb shit. You believe that the world's a round ball in infinite space, you'll probably commit more crimes. You'll probably live in sin. You'll probably have less regard. And two, even if you don't have you all those things, you won't know the truth, so you'll be deceived. And, and that's what the funny thing is, is guys, the, the whole thing, everyone is just deceived. They just don't understand. They don't use their eyes to see. They don't use their ears to hear. Right? If you're using your eyes to see and your ears to hear, everything shows you that we're not on a spinning ball. Everything does. Why does it, why does it matter? I'll tell you why it matters. They're stealing your money. Right? Space Station is a serious place. We're doing serious research, scientific research and engineering research. Here is Pig. And of course, Pig is the arch enemy of Angry Bird. Not helping those people on the street, which is our duty, by the way, as Christians. Not only to give them a, a coin for, for more bread, because men do not live on bread alone. We are to tell people the good news. Have y'all not forgotten? Have you heard the call? Have you heard the call? Are you spreading the good news? Are you battling your sin? Are you submitting to it? That's the difference, guys. Submit to your sin or battle through it. Battle, fight against it. The devil had nothing that Jesus, Jesus wanted. Jesus told him that. You have nothing I desire. Nothing. You have to not desire these things, guys. Not want them. Everybody is looking for a rich life filled with money. Guys, the scripture. You don't need that. You want that. As long as you want that, he's got you. You're cooked. You don't have to be this way, guys. Open your eyes and look. The sun is not coming up. It's going, it's coming towards us from a distance. So it's gonna look like it's rising. down it's gonna look like it's setting it's not it's going away it's not going down it's at the same level it was whenever it came across the sky it's funny how at noon we'll say oh high noon the sun's at high noon before the sun was always at high noon at 9 10 11 the sun was at the same height it was just further away from you the whole time and as it gets closer the highest point is noon and the funny thing is is you'll sit there and say that the sun is rising up and then setting down. And then the scientific bullshit establishment will tell you that the earth is falling back when it's set. No, no guys, no it's not. No it's not. And white lab coat syndrome is what I was getting to. That is the basis 
of my video today, White Lab Coat Syndrome. Coining the, ter the term that represents people who submit their conscious, objectable thought to people in a white lab coat. So, I'm not going to be able to battle the man in the white lab coat. He's more powerful. He's a wizard, basically. And he says the earth is round. If you go against that, you're going against science. What is science, guys? The pursuit of truth. So, pseudoscience is bullshit science. And so many times, the enemy is going to label the truth as pseudoscience, right? And on top of that, you have your family members and churchgoers, or so-called churchgoers, right? Wolves in sheep's clothing, who say they're Christian, but act a different way. And don't believe, truly, in the truth. Because the truth does set you free. Once you see the truth, you can't unsee it. You've never seen anyone go from being a flat earther to being a round earther. You only see people going from round earth to flat earth. You never see anyone go back. Why is that? Because when you see the truth, guys, there's no one seeing it. So, white lab coat syndrome is the idea that regardless of your ability to think, you're going to lose to the man in the white lab coat or a woman in the white lab coat. If they say, they take the title scientist, right? In reality, they are a pseudoscientist. They don't know that they are. They believe that they are telling the truth, right? Show me a picture of space, guys. You can't, right? Because all the images are fake, right? Anytime someone takes a so-called picture of space, what time of day is it, guys? Do they do it at daytime? Have y'all ever thought about that critically? They don't. All the pictures of so-called space is taken at nighttime. Why is that? Oh, the sun shines so bright that during the day that we can't see into space. Why is the sky blue behind the sun instead of black? If the sun is 93 million miles away from us, why does it look like it appears inside of our atmosphere? Why do I see it going behind clouds and in front of clouds? Why is that, guys? How come all the pictures are only at nighttime? Because space <laughs> is nighttime. You look at when it gets dark outside and you can see those twinkling lights, you consider that space. When really you don't realize it's the same sky you were looking at in the daytime. It's just night. It's just dark. Okay? That's it nothing to it but white lab coat syndrome would tell you that you know, that's pseudoscience oh no we know space is real no you don't everything about space is bullshit everything about NASA is bullshit if you can't see that then you're blind So, just remember guys, white lab coat syndrome is what's got you stuck. It's what's got you paralyzed and inability to think for yourself and critically think about what's really going on and disagree with the white lab coat man. Because you can't. It's in, you cannot disagree with the white lab coat. When you can't go against science you've been taught that science is the process of understanding truth and it is but you don't realize that they've lumped real science like looking at biology hypo hypothesis control experiment conclusion tangible observable measurable provable space is none of those you can't touch it you can't prove it exists you can't measure it None of it, guys. In science, we always say that you make observations, you have a theory, you go make more observations, and it's a very, very tedious process. Wrong. Nobody that I know of in my field under, uh, uses the so-called scientific method. In our field, it's by the seat of your pants. 
It's leaps of logic. It's guesswork. And they say, oh, where's the end of the Earth? Well, where's the end of your infinite space galaxy? Right? Just goes on and on and on and on and on, doesn't it? And I'll tell you where the edge of the Earth is when I'm allowed to go there. There's something called the Antarctic Treaty. I've said this millions, millions of people have talked about this. You're not allowed to go below the 60, the 60th parallel. Okay? You can't. You're not allowed to. There's something called the Antarctic Treaty where every single government in the world, think about this, all the world wars we have, chop the whole fucking rainforest down, right? Eliminate natural cures and remedies and give people petroleum medication in the form of a pill, control, distribution of medication. They've done it, guys. They own you. You have a security number, a social, you are an investment, right? You have a job to do, you're a slave. They take away the chains in the, in the jail cell, and so you think you're free, but you're not. What about gravity? Density and buoyancy. If you're heavy, you'll, you'll stick to the floor. You won't stay there, you can jump. But you can't fly like a bird, you don't have wings. But birds can, and bees can, and bugs can. And a balloon can go straight up, but gravity stops the millions of pounds of oceans, holds it to the ball, but we can't do that on a small scale. We can't make a ball have water on it without filling the ball up with water, right? We can fill the ball up with water, but the water will be flat inside of it. You can't put water to the outside of the ball and the water stay there. It's not gonna work, guys. And they'll say, oh, we need a way bigger scale for gravity to kick in. Bullshit. <laughs> if you can't do it on a small scale, it's not real. Okay? You can't prove that. That's pseudoscience. Right? It's guesswork, guys, by the seat of their pants. They say it all the time. Leaps of logic. They don't do real science. So, remember, you cannot serve two masters. It's God and His cosmology biblical cosmology or science and the world what they tell you is the world of course the world's gonna lie only God is true so his words are true the Bible is written by men inspired by God God had a hand in it they weren't just sitting there writing making shit up they weren't doing that. They were inspired. So you have a choice to make. That's what this all comes down to. Because there's not going to be any conclusions drawn. Even No matter what you get shown from space, you know the footage looks bullshit, guys. Go look at the first ever space footage. Right? It's all bullshit. Go look at the Voyager 1 mission documentary. It's nothing but cartoons. There are no real images of this shit because none of this shit's real. Right? ISS, all that shit's bullshit. You have a choice to make. That's what it comes down to. You're not going to know. You're not going to find out for sure. Because if you find out for sure, then you get to make the right decision. And it doesn't work like that. You have to hope and have faith in what you choose to believe in. So if you choose to believe in the world, then that's the world you believe in. But if you choose to believe in God and His Son, Yeshua, then, and you look at his text, they tell you what the world is. And it takes shape like clay under a seal.